Hello everybody, this is another day and I thought I'd show you what I did um, just, I think it was yesterday when I scored the surface of this with a, a pattern. Um, another thing that I really enjoy working with is patterns. So it's just something I feel inside. I think pattern is a very big part of uh, the way I enjoy art. But I wanted to uh, incorporate a little bit more of these, yes, these straight edges amidst all these curvilinear things going on. And as I mentioned, these drip marks fall into that rectilinear sort of um, category. And so there's a lot of um, texture right now that wasn't there before. My next step is I'm going to take some graphite powder, now, hoping that I'm going to kind of dirty things up because right now there's this blatant white that's kind of just staring me in the face and it's kind of like this bright headlight. And I don't want it to be so bright. I want to dull it back again. And then after I dull it back with the graphite powder, I'm going to then have something to work with. So by pushing it a little darker with the graphite powder, I'll wipe some of it off with water, but then I'm also going to go back into it with paint. And I'm going to pay attention to where these geometric lines have formed, and I'm going to choose some of them to go back in and guide some of the shape making that I go into. So I'll have this sort of contrast between this really roughly curvilinear and then all these wonderful new geometric patterns that have been set up and, and I like to just choose them randomly. So kind of excited about seeing what is going to happen. This graphite powder, as you can see, I put on a blue towel and it's really messy, but it's a very fine powder. And you can also do this with charcoal powder, but charcoal powder is a, a more gritty and coarse. And I, I want something really super fine. I'm going to just take my gloved hand like this and, you know, press into this and kind of rub it into the surface so you can see what's happening. I'm dirtying the surface. My hand got tired, so now I'm using a paper towel. I needed to get a whole lot more graphite powder on the surface here in my hand wasn't able to hold as much graphite powder as this blue towel. These blue shop towels, by the way, are really, really great in the studio for so many things. They, they last a lot longer than regular paper towels. Looks pretty dirty now. But that's what I wanted. I just didn't want these blatant whites. I know I can always bring the whites back, but it's kind of fun just to throw something on there that really enhances the texture that was created with the paintbrush and all these different ways of applying paint. Things that you, you know, the texture I wasn't even aware was there. And as I was rubbing with my hand and the paper towel, there are some interesting things that happen, like right here, for instance, you can see those little black marks. Those were little areas where the paint actually hadn't dried yet completely. So when I rubbed it, um, it kind of took the uh, paint off and I kind of like that. So I think I want to, before I take any of this graphite powder off, I want to see what I can do with a wallpaper scraper. I want to see if I can get any more of those marks to show. Here's another one like that, a little black one. Those are kind of those happy surprises that, again, you don't even really know they're there. 